Coach, first off, how are you feeling uh, coming off that undefeated uh, regular season just like last year heading into this thing? <laughs> yeah, it feels pretty good. I don't know if the reality is quite set in just yet. Uh, you know, as a coach, you're always getting ready for the next match, but uh, it, it, it does feel good. And uh, yeah, I'm very proud of our our group uh, to, to be able to uh, sweep the season again. It's, it's uh, pretty remarkable stuff. So just really uh, proud of our girls and just the way they bring it every single day. I think that's contributed to our, our success and, and our consistency on, on top of being a very talented team. It's a group that's very hungry and just, you know, one of our mottos is to get better every day. And I think the, our team's really embraced that again this year. What does it say about your team that you were able to win the SEC uh, without Carson, you know, with her being sidelined and dealing with that, but you guys were still able to not lose during that stretch. Yeah, it was really uh, excellent job of, of the group. To, um, you know, I wouldn't say we necessarily like uh, pulled together or anything like that, but uh, you know, it was a big loss losing Carson. Anytime you lose an All-American, that, that's a pretty big deal, and, on, and especially on a squad as small as ours with our eight scholarships. When you go down to seven scholarship players and losing an All-American, uh, yeah, that's a pretty big deal. And uh, yeah, our, our girls just really embraced that. And uh, I think it might have taken us all kind of a maybe a week or two to kind of really uh, know what that feels like. And uh, yeah, I couldn't be happier with uh, the way that we continue to perform at a high level there. I overheard you after the Georgia game said you had a conversation, I guess, with Salma right before that, uh, just kind of and it seems like since then she's regrouped and you know obviously had a big win in that match. Just what have you seen from her and what kind of are some of the things you were helping her if some of those girls you had to move up a lot? You know, I think it was a really a simple com conversation that just kind of really resonated. It's almost a uh, the conversation kind of revolved around the, you're an excellent tennis player. You, you've played very good tennis already this season. You've had an amazing career in, in college. You've had an amazing career in the juniors. And, you know, I think it was just kind of a little bit of a doubt uh, creeping into her head there. And I think it was just a very simple conversation of, uh, you know, I remember telling her you've got the, on one shoulder, you, you got the thought that you can do it. And this shoulder is telling you you can. You got to listen to this shoulder there. And, uh, you know, I think it was just kind of just a real simple uh, thing of just drawing on the, some of the past matches that you've performed at a high level and just taking the doubt out. And uh, yeah, there's nothing like a, a win. She beat uh, Vin Manova from Georgia, who I think was ranked 10 in the nation or so. And it was a marathon match with uh, high, high drama. And uh, I think when you can pull through in a match like that, um, that kind of takes care of any doubt or belief you might have. So it's almost very uh, confident right now and uh, just like the whole team is. I imagine when we hear the SEC awards come out, we might hear about uh, Mary being player of the year and you know potentially me the freshman of the year as well. Uh, just what have you seen from them, their growth over this year? I mean, I, I mean, if every if it was so easy, everyone would go from like you know in the 60s to number three in the nation, but it doesn't happen obviously for Mary and then for me to just kind of not miss a stride at all. Yeah, for Mary and Mia, um, it's just been remarkable. I mean, you know, they're honestly like world-class tennis players as far as I'm c concerned. I, I think they're both going to have great uh, professional careers. And, uh, y you know, they're just great athletes. They just love tennis. They're just truly striving to get better every every day. I, I think they're going to rename the Player of the Week award after Mary Stiliana. I believe she's going to be her seventh time now. I believe uh, four times is the most anyone's ever won it, which is pretty incredible. And, and Mia's won quite a few as well. And you know, and with Mia just coming in in January, it's it's remarkable. We've had a lot of really good freshmen coming in mid-year, and, and it's it's a struggle. And uh, uh, Mia's only lost one match uh, all year, and it's truly. Uh, I think their winning percentages are both around 90, 95 percent playing lines one and three. It, it's it's an, it's a pretty incredible job uh, by by both of them. Does uh, your I guess preparation and just kind of your focus change at all as you get into this part of the season and, and postseason? I mean, just what, what's different? You know, yeah, you, you know, it's it's uh, we try to keep things uh, the the same, kind of the same preparation and the same. Uh, thought process, but it, it does feel different going in the tournament format. Uh, we'll be playing clinch clinch from here on out. As soon as a team reaches four points, the team matches is, is over. And uh, I think one of the messages too will be just taking care of business 
when we can. If, if we uh, hopefully, uh, uh, you know, if we're in control of Friday, it's putting that match away so we're ready to play for Saturday. And the same story for Saturday. If we get chances to put a team out, we, we take care of business and get ready for Sunday. The, you know, the longer those matches drag out, you know, the back to back to back matches is always a bit of a challenge. So I think it's just, you know, playing every point at the highest of levels and taking care of business. Uh, when we can, and uh, it's great to get the double double buy. On the other hand, uh, we'll be playing either Vanderbilt or Alabama, who have, have played a match the day before, and will be sharp. So those first round matches are, are can always be kind of tricky. So the preparation here, uh, the next few days, we'll be getting in the Fayetteville tonight. Uh, we'll get two good practices in on Wednesday, and another good practice in on Thursday. So we're uh, ready to go on Friday. In your experience, how does the playing it? surface play up there or, or what kind of things does do you think in that environment you have to lean on? I think it's going to be a nice playing environment there. Uh, there's some tricky weather looks like there. I know it's going to be super windy tomorrow and good chance of rain Thursday and Friday so it could be some indoor tennis. I think the good news is their indoor courts play very kind of average speed. It's not like uh, you know, sometimes it's like lightning fast indoors and we're not playing the home team either which is kind of uh, nice. I think their outdoor courts play pretty similar, so it won't be a big stark contrast going from outdoors uh, to indoors. So, um, yeah, I, I think it, it'll be a nice venue to play at. Uh, they've got a nice outdoor and a nice indoor facility, and uh, um, yeah, I, I don't think the conditions are going to be too uh, tricky one way or the other, which will be nice. The last few times we talked, you, you, you even mentioned about where your doubles is at now that you're heading towards postseason. And maybe matches will get a little bit closer, maybe not in the SEC, but look in the future. Where do you feel you're at on that? Well, I'm still trying to figure out three doubles, to be honest with you. Um, we, we've tried some different scenarios. Um, I, I'm likely going to go back to Morellis and Pilot this weekend. They, they had an excellent fall together. and. Uh, you know, early in the season, we didn't play Morales a lot with, with Carson Brandstein in there. Uh, so so um, I'm going to go back to, to that. At least that'll be the plan with the practices in the next a few days. Uh, we've performed so well at one and two, it just doesn't seem to make sense to me to, to switch up one and two. Um, uh, we, we've been pretty rock steady there in those positions. And it's just a little bit of, you know, I was talking earlier about the confidence. I think we just need to get one good win and, and realize we're all just fine because they're, whether I put Smetanikoff, Pilot, or Morellis out there, they're all excellent tennis players. We just got to click and, and get the chemistry going a little bit better and just play the big points a little bit better. The doubles is such a quick deal. It's sometimes a 15, 20 minute match and it, you just got to be sharp every point and just execute a little bit more on the big points. I feel like we're just really backing down the big points at three doubles we got to just take matters in our own hands and be a little more uh, decisive out there but yeah the doubles points are going to be critical in the SEC tournament and then moving on to the to the NCAA tournament the, this margin for uh, for for victory is very close and that that doubles point uh, goes a long way so we've performed well as a group all year I think we're something like 19-4 in doubles but uh, we, we do just need to get a little bit sharper at three to just kind of take a little pressure off the one and two doubles positions. You feel like going into the SEC tournament, you guys are kind of the team with the, the target on your back, so everyone's going to be, you know, probably done it for you. We definitely have the target on our back. Uh, you know, with being the two ranked team, uh, you know, these other teams are looking at a victory or the Aggies could, you know, get them in the tournament or get them seated in the tournament. So um, we, we have a big target at our back, and uh, you know, I think a lot of teams are playing with a little pressure. Uh, against us, but uh, but we, we've really embraced that role. I, I think we, we, we like that position. That's that's where we want to be. So we just got to continue on doing what we're doing and performing at a high level. And at the end of the day, I think it's uh, the other teams that's going to have to play uh, a great, great tennis match uh, to, to get us. So I, I, I feel very good with the uh, way things are going. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to a run here at the SEC tournament.